Have you ever thought of how it would be living in a palace? Well, today's listing is sort of a mini palace. Located in Miyotoni Karen is this eight bedroom main house with an entertainment rooftop, two guest houses, four staff quarters, and a one bedroom chief of staff quarters, all sitting on a 2.1 acre piece of land covered in trees. Without further ado, let's go inside and have a look. Let's start our tour at the back of the property and from here we can see how the house looks from the back. It is well cladded with stones, it's a three level and also have a huge patio area that can work perfectly as an outdoor dining area and for outdoor lounging. We even have a very beautiful fireplace that we'll see as we get into the house. On this other side, we have a greenery area and next to it is an infinity pool that overlooks another greenery area, therefore ensuring that you have more than just one you know, greenery spot for your functions or just your kids to play or even for you to lounge out. And then from here, we can also see the beautiful forest that uh, I don't know what is the name of. Is this actually a forest or this is an estate? I'm, I'm not sure what it is, Mark. You are more <laughs> conversant with this area than Mi I Miotoni am. Miotoni area. Yes. I know guys who live in Miotoni, I, I, they should actually tell us what they, what, whether this is a forest or it's um, just a people's estate. I'm not sure about that. Yeah. But we'll find However, out. However, what I was saying uh, with that garden underneath there, yeah. I'll definitely do a padding green so that maybe you can do uh, golf or. What do they call it? It's it's a polo. What do they call it? Oh, the you, you play that polo. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> be, it's really beautiful. It it's is really, really amazing. Yeah. And I can see so many other things that I would do with it. I'm refraining today from saying that I'll do my wedding there. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah. I mean, it's very beautiful. It's greenery, and we feel like we're in a, we are covered in trees. Yeah. Yeah. And on this other side, we have a bathroom area which is both indoor and outdoor that serves the pool and i mean it just goes to show you the uh, i don't know whether i should say the extravagance of this property i don't know whether that's the right word as calligraph would say yeah. extravagante there you have <laughs> it yeah i think a calligraph will be excited with this house <laughs> <laughs> so this is the area that i was uh, suggesting for an outdoor dining and on this other side is where we have the fireplace and i like how this fireplace is well raised so cleaning would be easy and then you can also add another sitting section here just to lounge yeah? yes and uh, here we have a casement door that opens to a very important central point of the house i would call it the house reception area and because it serves almost every other section of the house and i we also want to believe that this was meant to be the dining area yeah, definitely, yeah. because of that service area. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And you have a massive skylight. Really, as we said last time, every house, so you go and say, this is the most, this yeah. is the biggest, <laughs> the uh, biggest skylight you've skylight seen. Skylight you have seen. Yeah. Then it ends up that there's It's actually more. one of the small. Exactly. And it's a very <laughs> yeah. beautiful place, and I'm just imagining myself having breakfast here in the morning, or just mm -hmm. even having dinner, and looking out to the sky and seeing, especially on yes. a clear night. Yeah. It will, be, it will be so beautiful. Yeah, and the fact that you can walk on that glass yes. at the top of Oh the, my goodness. Yes. That is awesome. <laughs> that grass is actually very thick. Yeah. Well, it's told, you can walk on it, but we were so scared, we were like, uh, yeah, no. actually because they're also fixing it, so <laughs> the, the cement is still kind they're of... Still, yeah, yeah. they're doing some repair yeah. work, yeah? Yes. On this other side, you have your foyer area, which is massive, extends to all this other side. Normally, in such areas, we'd say you can have a space for your pets and so on, yeah. or maybe your kids' toys, and, and uh, I even think... Uh, this, this space is massive, really, so what, what do you do with this? Yes, it is. I would definitely put one of those art pieces, you know, the cause art piece, uh, like, you know. <laughs> a nice ma yeah. art piece, yeah? Yeah, something uh, nice there. You can even display a small-sized piano here. Yeah. The, However, I would yeah. definitely want to have a grand one here, <laughs> right beneath the skylight, instead of a small one there. It would be amazing. I just wonder where you would put your dining area, but it would be amazing. That would be, <laughs> yes. that would be really amazing. That one will figure out yeah. first the art piece, and then now you figure out Then you figure out, out what you'll do with the yes. dining area. Yeah. And next to the foyer is a very huge clock room. 
So in case your guests come with their jackets, there's a space where they can hang them, yeah? Yes. On this other side, you have your living space. And uh, this living space is so intimate because first you have a fireplace, which is important for me, Tony. Because generally, Karen can get cold, especially with all the trees. Yes. So with the fireplace, you're well sorted both inside and out the house, yeah? outside the house. Yeah. Then uh, you also have these casement windows to ensure that you get tons of natural lighting. And I like how they are, you know, they have wooden framing. This is so beautiful. And, yes, uh, no, yes. Not the norm. Yeah, it's yeah. totally given that uh, old money vibe. Exactly. You know? <laughs> By the way, this house has those, that parasha feeling. To yes, it. yes. And uh, we were, earlier on, we were saying new money, we can't relate. Yeah, we can't but, relate but to the design of this house <laughs> and the, you know, the courtyard and how it's arranged and exactly. how they intermarry. Yeah. Yeah, but this is definitely someone who has in mind the idea of a palace. Exactly. They know how this intermarry. Exactly. Be. Yeah. Well put. On this side, you have a small powder area. So to serve this uh, central area and uh, on this other side you have your first bedroom in this house let's have a look and the room sizes are quite large as you can see yes you have uh, almost a corner window on that side another one here i believe uh, I'm, I'm torn i don't know whether the bedside will be on this side or that side i think it's the this that side, side definitely. so that that's the tv wall yeah? yes yeah amazing and overlooking your beautiful lush gardens and you have your wardrobe spacing and a very massive bathroom um someone corrected me that i should stop using the word massive but uh <laughs> well it's uh I'll, I'll get used to it yeah yeah and then you have your vanity set up your big mirror that i'm sure really is trying to avoid water closet and on this other side you have your shower area earlier on we we're trying to discuss what this material is and we go good and it was a bit tough to tell what was the name we got with this uh, I can't remember. We googled and then I forgot. Yeah. yeah, but it's common in coast. Yes, very common in coast. Yeah, so yeah. Someone... Mo most most bathrooms in the coast. Yeah. If you have ever been to any resort in the coast, they use that's that. the material yes. they use. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure someone who. Oh, I'm sure guys know what material it is. Please mm. uh, enlighten us. Uh. Kindly. Bedroom number two. Welcome again. Very spacious. You have your bed space. A window there, another one there, and on this other side, you have a spacious bathroom as well. Your vanity set up, your shower area. I'm really vibing to these shower rooms. Yes, I, I, I will have to find out what this. What this stone is? Yeah. yeah. Some, some say it was quartz, but you can say it's not quartz. Yeah. Some, but it's hard to believe that it's a quartz. Yeah. It's not actually. Yeah. But someone should tell us. It's really amazing. And, yeah, and even very, the floors. Very, very have you the the, it's yes. almost similar, but yes. a different color tone. This one comes with a sliding door that is framed at the top. Let's move on and uh, see something. What, one thing we haven't talked about really is, is the floors that you have on this area. Yeah. What, what do you think about them? I think they are really awesome if they, we are going for that vibe of the resort feeling. They complement the space. Yeah, yeah? they really complement the space. Yeah, and even the pattern they did on the reception, that yeah. is Awesome, it this, looks nice. It's just something about this property, man. Yeah. Welcome to the massive kitchen space. And this kitchen space is a surprise because when you have seen the rest of the house, you actually don't think that the kitchen looks like anything like this. Yes. Yeah? It is, the cabinetry is more done, well done. We try to Google the pronunciation of this word. <laughs> How are you pronouncing it, Aria? Uh, Cooper's Bush? Cooper's Bush. Yeah, it's, it's, it looks like... Uh, German, yeah. I'm sure CK Ag or Agnes can tell us, AC Crochet, she can tell us. Oh yeah, she can yeah, tell yeah, us. Yeah, she can tell Because yeah. <laughs> even on YouTube, no one could, I mean, we didn't get the pronunciation. Yeah. yeah. But this is the brand they have used with all the fixed appliances. And you also have pop-ups for this uh, cabinetry. Yeah. Which, which are and so cool. One thing you're forgetting, the fridge. I almost forgot to mention it, man. Ah, okay, so, nice. <laughs> so you have a fridge installed. It's, it, it's actually well fixed. Yeah, it's yeah. very well fixed. Then you have your massive uh, multi-purpose island. And uh, this one comes with a massive smoke extractor above it because you have a five burner and your induction cooker. And I like the way they also installed this so that you can use it uh, yeah. for your breakfast. Uh, yeah, as a breakfast bar. The breakfast bar, yeah. Yes. And on this side, you have your double sink with a dry rack there. Then you have your this deep, deep fryer, fryer and uh, your grill. 
your grace section yeah? Yeah. yeah can definitely wake up and just cook nyama choma imagine eh? yeah, immediately without having to light up a jiko this is really cool yeah. and the cabinetry is really really well done and uh, uh, on this other side you have a door that opens to the laundry and the pantry area so you have your pantry area on this side and your laundry on this other side then this door opens to the side of your property and again that is your gas cylinder area and it's it's like we're in the this is uh, what paradise should look like yeah what do you think really yeah i think uh, as we proceed with the tour yeah. they'll see why we we are saying like it's sort of like a palace it's this like a, a mini palace, palace. yeah it's yeah. a mini palace because the grounds are well done actually on this side we have a courtyard so you have a very massive courtyard maybe yeah. i should try and show it cuz yes and uh so in case you're wondering what this is this is a section where you store your fire firewood yeah mm -hmm. I mean, you, you need the firewood to warm your house during the cold nights. Then yes. you have this courtyard that rises all the way to the top. Like, I like the sections, yeah? Yeah. And uh, if you're wondering what this is, these are strawberries. Like, they're all over the place. Yeah. I, wish I, would you... I would definitely use this side as a botanical garden. Can have flowers here and put a water feature that flows from top up all to the bottom, way. you know? Yeah. Yes. Because <laughs> being in this property, all I can remember is the sound of the water that we had at exactly. Kitisuru. Yeah. yeah. So I'm imagining it's the only thing that is missing in this property, that mm -hmm. sound of the water. But yeah, it's that sound of the water. Yeah. And, and, and I, I, I think that sound of the water mm -hmm. also removes some sort of loneliness in the place. Ah. Yes. That is the missing factor. <laughs> the missing factor, yeah. yeah. You have been complaining all along that there's something that's missing in this property and you can't point a finger at yeah. it. I think I've just figured it out. It's that sound of the yeah, water. Yeah, it I gives mean, it life. Damn, that's all you need to add and your property will have, it will yeah. look so vibrant and it will have so much life. Yes. Whoever buys this property, you, you can't really a check for that. <laughs> <laughs> that's a very genius idea. Yeah. Then we also have another garden on this other side. Yeah. Where, I mean, this property is overwhelming in a way. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, what you said, you know, about uh, this being a resort. Yeah. You can definitely buy this property yeah. and make it a resort uh -huh. and it will still make sense because of it's a very different kind of vibe. Yeah. And then if you give it life, like the water features, the botanical gardens, uh -huh. Uh -huh. you know, and just beautify the gardens, yeah. that, that would definitely work to be a great resort and you can have people have intimate vibes here. I believe this is what Jay-Z meant when he said, my house like a resort, <laughs> you know? Yes. So, yes. welcome to your parking area. This would, uh, how, many, how many cars do you think you can park here? Quite a lot. Quite a lot. Yes. And from now here, we can see the facade of the house. I don't know whether you can capture that clearly because of all these trees that you have. Yeah. But this is the front area of the house. We have the gate on this side that you're going to see later on. You have your parking area. You drive into your property, your parking area. You can also drive down to the house if that is what you want. So you have that driver going down. And then you have this staircase that leads you all the way to a small water feature and then the entrance of the house that we are going to see later on. In the meantime, we want to continue this way because we want you guys to see this house and understand why you're calling it a mini palace. So we have two guest houses. Yeah. So guest house number one, guest house number two. Let's quickly check guest house number one. Yeah. And so, do, you, do you remember the fact that you said uh, you put guests right next to the door so that it's easy for them to exit? Exactly. You remind <laughs> them that uh, they're just visiting. But you know what? I'm, if I was to stay here, I'd probably be using the guest house because <laughs> <laughs> this house is really massive. This, the house is massive. Yeah. So this is a small courtyard area that, you know, your guests can chill out, lounge, mm. you know, mm. in case you're not back at home so that you can chill with them. And then welcome to the sitting area or rather the living area. And here you have, you can even see the, probably the owner of this house has been using this area. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> because this is the only place you have furniture. Yeah. You have the dining area there. And where is this our fire, fireplace? Yeah, that's, that's actually quite high. It's and very high. It, yeah, and I think it's for a reason because like you want that heat to get exactly. all the way to here. Exactly. Yeah. And then on the behind the way this we have already 
So all you need is to install whatever you want to install. Yeah? Yes. So this guest room is three bedrooms. Yeah? So you have mm. bedroom number one here, then you have two bedrooms upstairs. And uh, we also have a kitchen that comes with an induction cooker and an oven as well and a sink there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And with that, let's uh, use this door. Then the wash, you have another washroom there. And now I want to jump to my favorite part of the place, guest house number two. And as we move to the guest house, there's another wing here, which is also lovely. It's, so it's actually one of the most intimate spaces in this compound. Yep. And this is the area meant for the chief of staff. Yes. For this property. Yeah. It's a proper... A, an actual one-bedroom house. It's actually a one-bedroom with a very nice wooden ceiling. Yes. I love it. Yeah, and I love it. where the SQs are... I even forgot to mention, on this other side, we have SQs that can house comfortably four people. There's a kitchen, a shared common kitchen, and the bathrooms are really well done. It's amazing. You can't even... Those are beautiful bed, uh, studio houses. Apartments, yeah. yeah. Studio apartments. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, very nice spaces. So this is one of my best spaces in this place. It's really, and, and I like the idea of creating intimate spaces. If you're going to have a big property, you might as well make it intimate. Yeah? Yes. So here you have your laundry area. Then this door opens to guest room number two. So this guest room is two bedrooms. You have your dining area, your living space. Then on this side, you have bedroom number one that comes with a tub. Yeah. I mean, it's, this is probably for your favorite guest. When your mom or your dad visits mm -hmm. or your very prominent guest, yeah. this is where you put them, yeah? Yeah. Very amazing. Well done. Actually works well for your mom or dad because it's a bungalow, so they are... Oh, yeah. They feel like uh, they, you know, they're yes. still at home, yeah? Yes. Then you have bedroom number two. Also comes with a spacious bathroom, shower area, vanity, water closet, and bed space. Mm -hmm. Then the kitchen. Look at this kitchen. This kitchen is amazing. We we have seen such a similar kitchen before. You remember? Yes. At uh, Narumoru. Narumoru yeah. yeah, yeah. And you remember that how much that kitchen cost? So I was just here wondering <laughs> how much did this cost? Because this this must be a lot. Yeah. Uh, cabinetry on this side, then on this side. The I mean the worktop is well done. The, your double sit there, your oven and burners. I'm overwhelmed. I don't know what to say. Yeah. And uh, with that, now we want to jump back so that we can see what we have uh, in the main house. <laughs> because in case you forgot, we have only toured the first level of the main house. Yeah. Yeah. Back at the front of the main house, you have your parking area on this side. Then on this side is where you have the driveway wrapping around the house. So you have this huge tree shading the main house. Then. Then you have a water feature here that we had mentioned earlier on. And now let's proceed this way so that we can see uh, move what we have on the first floor of this house. Willis, earlier on, you're telling me that you do a water feature here. Yes, yeah. a water feature yeah. or maybe even just, you know, one of those neon light signs. Yeah. Yeah, something just to break that wall. Yeah. Your Tony drive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we are back at the foyer and we are taking the stairs to the first level of the house. I think another aspect that gives this house the cost of filling is these color stones that have been used to clad some places. Yes. Yeah, you mainly find them in coast. Actually, you get them from coast. Yeah. yeah. And off the staircase landing, you have a small balcony here opening to the front of the house where you can stand here and see who is driving into your parking or down your driveway. And uh, on this level, you get to see that actually the first level of the house is on the lower level. Yeah. Then this is almost like the ground level of the parking area. Mm -hmm. Now let's get back and uh, see what you have. We can start with this side where we have a door opening to a small, like a clock room from this level yeah. or, or a storage area. Mm -hmm. Then uh, on this other side, we have bedroom number one on this space, but bedroom number three overall with a very nice reading nook where this is a, such a huge fan of this uh, reading nook. A huge fan of it, you know, just have uh, cushions there yeah. and, and just sit there when you're basking out in the sun. This feels so comfy. Yeah, it does. And even at night, because you have seen that this place has a lot of lighting features outside. You can imagine with when they're lighting up, yeah. maybe you have the moon or the stars, and you're just here chilling with a book. That's perfect. 
It's perfect. I can even see myself candling from here. <laughs> <laughs> then it also comes with a balcony opening to this other side, which you can either front face or side face. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And uh, on this side, you have your bathroom area with your vanity setup, water closet, and your shower area. Let's move on to this other side. And this is where it gets interesting. So you have your wardrobes on that side. You have bedroom one, two, and then a shared bathroom area. Yeah. So it comes with the double vanity and water closet. Again, the bathroom area. I mean, this, I have to get the name of this. We have to. Yeah. So have if to. somebody knows the name of that store, can be yeah. right on the comments. And uh, this is the bedroom space. Comes with a reading nook. And I, we just, earlier on we said that this would work perfectly for married people who want to sleep separately sometimes. <laughs> yes, yeah, definitely. But they were still forced to share the bathroom so that they can see each other. Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah. Uh, do you really think that this is designed to be like that? No, or this, it's just me. Maybe I'm just giving it a purpose. Yes, or maybe if you have two wives. Yeah. You know? Oh, one can be in, no. using this room, <laughs> and the other one using that other room. That, that wouldn't work. <laughs> Not in the modern world. Not in the modern no, world. Not in the modern world. But this is the bedroom that was next to that other one. So we're back at the landing point where they share the closet. I think it works well for kids. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. if you have kids, your kids can share yeah. that or, space. Or even if, uh, some, if you are a parent with a small kid, yeah. you know, you can have You can have their house one. help yeah. sleeping on the next room. Yeah. Yes and all your kids sleeping on the next room, yeah? Mm -hmm. So this landing is also for a similar sort of space. And I believe this is meant to be the side of the primary bedroom, Yeah. but it has many shared spaces. First of all, you have this kitchenette area, then you have this space number one. And this one also comes with a reading nook overlooking the front of the property. Then you have a beautiful balcony space extended, almost similar to the other bedroom, yeah? Yeah, we this can definitely call this the primary room lounge. Yeah, primary room Bedroom lounge. lounge. Yeah, amazing. I like that. And from here, we can also get to appreciate that these wooden features that forms part of the roofing exterior yeah, of the house. Yeah. Exterior of the house. Then you have a bathroom area on that side. Follow me. You have to see this house for yourself to appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. To and to understand it. So as we really say, that was the primary bedroom lounge. Yeah? Mm. Or maybe you, your house help could use that area. And then this can be your bedroom space, the wardrobes. Here is the bathroom for the primary bedroom, your double vanity, your shower area, and your tub. Yeah? Yes. A small window there. Then let's see what you have here. And I believe this is the primary bedroom space. Mm -hmm. So with a massive reading nook, another window overlooking your pool. I mean, can you imagine waking up to this? I mean, it's beautiful when you're, you know, viewing it from here. And especially when your pool is full of water. Full of water, of course. Flowing all the way. And yes. then you have your padded area, as you say. Yeah. I mean, and you wake up to these 365 days a year. Good. Beautiful. 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 <laughs> yeah. Oh, Imagine whenever. you are living in a resort your whole yeah, life. Yeah, I mean, my house like a resort. <laughs> One of these house niggas you bought my house like a resort my house bigger than yours my spot come on man i'm feeling you know like 50 cent once said in a song yeah or rather in a story yeah that there's a time he hosted a party and like five days later he met some people still there and he's like you guys haven't left because <laughs> the house is massive yeah this is definitely one of those this, houses this, yeah so yeah. another bedroom space and uh this one we have wardrobe space in there which opens to the shared area for the primary bedroom yeah so yes. it's part of the primary bedroom and with that we are done with this level now let's jump upstairs so that we can see what we have on the last level of this house follow me at the rooftop landing we are welcome to this beautiful space that i guess from here is when you start to appreciate this space. Well, it's first, can we start with this uh, skylight? Yeah. We talked about this when you were at the dining area or rather the, the reception area of this house. And earlier on, we were told that this skylight is very strong. Yeah, uh, you can definitely I didn't want to on work it. on it, but finally, <laughs> 
I'm, <laughs> my legs are shaking. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I think it's instinctive because of that uh, fresh cement. Yeah, because of the fresh, they are trying to waterproof it again, yeah. doing some renovations. But it's amazing. You can see how it lights up that space. Mm -hmm. Skylights are such a gem. They are, they yeah, are. Yeah. If anything, I will definitely have a skylight in my house. And talking of gems, this house is a hidden gem. It is quite actually one. <laughs> and you need to have such an acquired taste to understand to an the beauty of this place. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is definitely one of the best properties we have been touring yeah. in terms of uniqueness. In, and even the, what you're getting for it. Yeah. In terms of value, you're getting so much for that price. Yeah, so, imagine two acres of... All by yourself. Yeah, actually more than two acres. Yeah. So you have this area that earlier on we were trying to understand what it is, and we figured out it's an entertainment lounge. It can be a man cave, mm. but, and as Moneno was saying on, you can only imagine the kind of entertainment. It was already in here. <laughs> <laughs> so let me, um, let me show you. These are the windows that you are seeing at the front area. Yeah. And uh, we like the doors, how the doors are done, giving yeah. you that Lamo vibe. Yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah. or maybe the Zanzibar yeah. vibe, yeah. you know, one of those uh, coastal empire kind of vibe. Talking of Lamu, we'll be touring Lamu next month. Oh my God. If you have a listing in Lamu and you think it is worth featuring yeah. on Massa Plus. Yeah, we'll be in Lamu next month. Talk to us. Yes. Yeah, we might slot you in our busy schedule. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you have also another door, I mean, another window there and another one. Then you have this small space. I really tried to explain it to us and we were trying to understand why we even have this space up here. Mm -hmm. Because this is a cabinetry that has a shoe rack. Yeah. So uh, does the man of the house live here or? It's the kind of entertainment that used to go Oh, it's, the, it's okay. <laughs> like you say, you have to have an acquired taste. Yes. To understand to this understand house. this. Place. Exactly. Yeah. Then you have that sliding door that can give you that seamless look. You don't even know what is there. Mm -hmm. Then again, can we talk about the sliding doors that open up this whole space? or close it up so you can comfortably use, use this place at night. And as you have seen, there's a fire space on this side to warm it up. Mm. But if it's during the day and it's hot like it is right now, yes. then you just open it up, listen to the weeds, listen to your water feature once you have installed it, look down at some of your guests enjoying uh, the padded area or the swimming area. Yeah. The padding green, yeah? Ah, Willis. This, this is, this and, is, and, this and is look at the forest from here. Do you do, know how do, we are so close to like it's a how many minutes to CBD? Like, Miotoni to CBD is about uh, yeah, uh, if, you, if you don't have traffic, it will yeah. take you about 20, 25 yeah, 20, minutes. 20, yeah, yeah, but 40 including yeah. traffic, 40 including traffic. Yes. So, accessibility if you want to go to the airport, it's even faster because of the bypass. Oh, yes, yeah. if you want to go to Nakuru, it's even faster because of the bypass. Mm. So it's definitely well accessible. Perfect location. Yeah, connected. One of the best uh, locations in Karen that you can stay. Mm. Again, because of this, if you're about nature, we were talking earlier on and we said, if you buy this property and you cut a tree, you don't deserve it. You don't deserve you it. You don't. Yep. Yeah. That's when they say money don't buy class. <laughs> 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 on this other side, you have a bathroom space. So you have your double vanity, your shower area, and a massive tub. Mm. One can only wonder why you have this up here. That is why we we, we, we need to have a sit down with the owner. With the owner. Understand. Yeah. The idea of filming the house in the absence of the owner. <laughs> no, no, no. Not at <laughs> all. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. At least you would have given us a tour. Yeah. He or yeah. she might would, would have, have made a work. Yeah, yeah, but right now we're just uh, trying to figure out these spaces. You can see how you would enjoy them, but yeah. you want to understand how the owner enjoys yeah. them. Enjoy, enjoy the, yeah. <laughs> what was his experience in this? What was house? the experience? Yeah. What was the intended use? Yes. But it's an amazing space. I think one thing I would add up here is probably a jacuzzi for those nights. Oh, yes, of yeah? course. Yeah, yeah, this would definitely be. I would have it out here or have it at some corner there overlooking the pool. Mm. And I think it would be a very lovely feature. Look at that. Really, just let them see that. De definitely too beautiful, man. You know, to get such a space almost next to the city, it's it's not easy. It's, it's not common. It's not easy. Yeah. 
And also, uh, you've forgotten to mention that there's solar backup for the house and you can actually go full solar in the house. So you can go full solar if you want. And uh, thank you for reminding me that release. Look at your fixture. These yeah. are the solar batteries and yeah. the inverter. This, yeah. is, this is really massive and beautiful. Yeah, and well done. Well. You, if, I'm sure this has cost them quite a, a small studio, a small one fortune. bedroom, three bedroom <laughs> apartment somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Just to install that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, with that really, I would want to hear your last words about the house. What I would say is extravagante. I mean, I couldn't have said it any better. I think you have said it everything. For me, I'll just say, this is a hidden gem. In fact, we, we, we were lost trying to locate it. Yes. So it's hidden for real. It's, it's hidden for real, <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's a very beautiful property, a one of a kind property in Nairobi. And uh, for people who would be interested in this kind of a property, all you have to do is call Ray and he's going to tell you how this beautiful mini palace can be yours. Yep. And uh, his number is on the description. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and see you on the next episode. Bye.